Okay, so I'm sure that many of you have faced a situation where you've gotten injured and just completely freaked out and you don't know what to do. And there's those kind of people that um, freak out even more when they see blood on themselves or on anyone else. But that's why I'm here today so I can teach you the basics of first aid. And the, th the three things that I'm going to be talking about are what can happen if you don't do first aid, uh, the three-step process into completing the first aid, and lastly, how it affects your society. So um, whether you believe it or not, as a wild child, I'm always getting cut and burned and all kinds of stuff. But I'm glad I learned how to do first aid because I can do it on my own and it's very helpful. And, um, but besides that, I get enough practice at home because you know how little kids are. But uh, the things that can happen if you don't do first aid is that um, you can, the bacteria can get infected and if, uh, a cut has bacteria or some kind of germ, then the infection is going to make it even worse than it was before. And uh, it's always good to try to keep um, the wood as clean as possible. So you try, need to try to avoid any kind of body, um, something like body fluids that can get into it. And some of the things that you can see if you have an infection is that there can be it can get swollen, or uh, the skin around the injury can be hot or there can be um, drainage, so like um, pus or any kind of weird stuff going on. Uh, now that you know that, we can now move over to a three-step process. So the three steps are to prep, clean, and um, to dress it, so go like be an aid or something. So to prep all of it, all you have to do is just really be careful so that you don't get it contaminated because a cut or a wound can literally happen anywhere you go. So you need to try to avoid getting it infected. So you can you can use something as simple as a face mask to try to use it as gear. You can use um, some kind of cloth. You can um, use like a paper towel or a tissue, but you have to make sure that you put pressure on it. Something else that you can do is that you can focus on pressure points, which you can think of it this way. If you step on a water hose, so then the water stops coming out. Um, two pressure points would be in between your shoulder um, and your elbow, like about right here. And also another pressure point would be like right towards the middle of your inner thigh. <coughs> um, if we move over to cleaning the wound, uh, all it, all you can really do is just rinse it underwater and you can use soap if you wanted, but um, I'm sure you can also use some, um, something like uh, hydro, hydrogen peroxide. I'm sure it's everyone's favorite. Uh, usually I think that one's better because it just kills all the bacteria, any kind of germ that got into the cut or the wound. And lastly is the dressing, which involves um, putting a band in, which the purpose is so that the wound doesn't reopen, um, to keep it so that it doesn't get contaminated, and so that the healing process is faster. So you just apply the band-aid. And for example, if this was too small, you could apply gauze and you can attach it with medical tape, which I really like because it's meant to stick onto your skin. And it's most of the time it's waterproof, so I, it's really nice. And overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that we all know that um, First aid is, has a very positive impact on, into our society, and I think it's very good to um, have the courage to help those around you. Um, there was a National Library of Medicine um, article that stated that out of 1.2 million people, um, there is an 81.7% that have a non-fatal injury, and obviously those injuries, they get treated um, by a first aid provider. But 79.9 of those first aid providers don't even have, um, are not even trained. So basically any of you could learn how to do first aid and you wouldn't have to be trained. Um, you wouldn't have to like be part of the medical field. Um, so you can basically do this to anyone, it'd be very helpful. And I really encourage you all to um, have the courage to help, some, to help someone. I know that like during like right at the moment you tend to freeze and you don't know what to do. But at the end of the day, you're going to um, realize that, that you actually help someone. Um, there are some times where you might have to be CPR 
um, certified or first aid certified to do specific things like um, like more deep cuts. But uh, if that ever happened, I just call 911. Thank you.